Hi y'all, it's Linda at Reese by Linda and I uh, wanted to come back and show you uh, let's finish up this honeybee read together bumblebee, honeybee, whatever anyway, the other day it's been several days and a whole lot's happened here in this country since then but the other day we started on this beautiful wreath isn't that pretty isn't that isn't that just yummy it's so nice and we are going to make our bow and we're going to add our embellishment got this cute little sign home is where your honey is that's that i got at big lots uh, we'll be adding that to it we'll be adding these really cute um, honeycombs they're not honeycombs these cute Hives, beehives. I don't know why I can't get that right. Beehives. And then we also have all of these cute little uh, bees that I clipped off of another wreath that we're going to be using. So, right now, I'm going to uh, attempt to make a bow. I just I just made one as a, for practice. So I'm going to attempt to make another one without the assistance of the video. I just watched um, Damon make a terry bow using the easy, deluxe easy bow maker since that's all i have that's what we're going to use normally i believe that a terry bow is um named by for terry marshall and she does it on the pro bow the hand but of course i don't have a pro bow the hand um i think you can also do it on the bow dabra but i don't have a bow dabra we have the deluxe easy bow maker so anyway, that's what we're going to do. So for whenever you make a terry bow, you need seven ribbons, and you'll be we'll be using four, no three, two and a half inch ribbons, and four of the one and a half inch ribbon. And remember, I told you that we uh, I had bought this one, but it didn't it just didn't work right in the wreath. But it will be going in the ribbon. It will be going in the bow. Um, this this is the practice one that I just made and um, and it's okay it's all right it'll work but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make another one and then who knows maybe we'll use both of them okay so I'm gonna try to pin you down here a little bit so you can follow along with me and I do apologize if you hear a background noise I have my fan going it's a little warm in here today and uh, extremely humid got the kinky curls going on up here Anyway, let's pan down and let's get let's make a bow. Okay, so we um, I want to put this this stripe one, this yellow stripe one, which I did not use in the wreath, but I want to put it on the on the bottom on the bottom. And on the easy bow maker, you're building your bow from the bottom up base up. Okay, we're just going to fold it, cut from the from the fold to the edge, make our nice little dovetail. Okay, we're going to measure out eight inches, and some, some people twist it before they put it in here, some afterwards, I put it in and twist it. Pull your tail down towards you. Okay, we're going to start with a seven inch loop. Come over here, measure seven inches, put it back in there, Twist again, and by twisting, we are, see this ribbon is not patterned on this side, but it is on this side. So we call this the pretty side, and this the not so pretty side. Okay, so pull that one down. Slide this over to seven. And we don't have to twist it now because this is a tail. You're making two loops, two tails, okay? over here to seven I mean to eight cut it and cut another dovetail okay and then that so we have tail down loop down loop up tail up okay all right next I'm going to come back with um, the rick rack again gonna cut cut her okay and so this time we ended with with the tail up 
so we're going to start with the tail down I think that's right I think that's right let's we'll start with the tail down over here is that right yeah maybe okay so anyway <laughs> I don't know but if we get a bow we get a bow okay so we have um, we're going to do it about the same seven inches and then we're going to twist and this ribbon is extremely stiff okay love it though love it love it love it and we don't need to twist this time just come over to our eight inch and cut So we had tail down or over here on this side. So we need to pull that first loop down, right? And then we have tail up and we have loop up. Yes, I did it right. Alrighty. I think it's going to look good. <laughs> okay, and then we'll come back with the last one, which is our B's. And again, I, I'm not worried about I, I'm not worried about the direction that they're going. You know, bees fly up, bees fly down, bees fly all around, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so we got our seven inches, so kind of the same thing. We, um, we're going to start over here where the loop is. So we ended on a loop, so put a tail. And this time we're going to come to um, a, about six and a half. Those two loops were sevens. So we're going to come to about six and a half this time. And go over here. I think one time I saw somebody make one of these with um, using their hand. Terry bow by hand. And I was amazed. Okay, so we pull our tail down. And then we pull our first loop down, and this tail goes up, and this loop goes up. See, we're just alternating. Every every other ribbon, every ribbon we're making across, and we're alternating. Okay. I got, then I'm come back and put in this solid yellow. It's not a um, it's not in the wreath. Again, we just needed an extra ribbon. It's a little one and a half inch ribbon that I got at Sam's um, ooh, many years ago. And it's a 50 foot roll. I'm telling you right now, folks, if you can get the 50 yard rolls, get it. It's amazing. Alright, so we ended on a tail down. So, or a tail up. I should say. So we'll put this tail and it's going to go up here and twist. You really don't have to twist, but there it is two sides. You can tell from the edging. Okay, we're going to make this one at six. Come over here. Bring that to six. And then come out here and cut. So where are you at? I'm, I'm in Texas and we are warm here. It's warm. We've had some rain and thunderstorms last couple of days. And, um, but it's really humid today. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to, um, can, that my husband's going to allow me to go, well, how am I going to trust it? I'm the one that always wants to turn on the AC, you know? I mean, first sign of spring, I'm ready to turn it on. So, okay, we got a, a tail up, and we got a loop up, and we got a loop down, and we got a tail down. Okay, and then, um, and then I came in with this one. This is really cute ribbon. It just, I just didn't, I don't know. I, it, I didn't, it didn't go with the theme. I didn't think. Once I got started, the 
but with the bow you're having all kinds of layers and all kinds of textures so it's it's a okay okay so we're gonna go with the loop uh, tail down okay here twist okay this time we're gonna go to about five and a half and we're gonna twist it sounds like a chubby checker song doesn't it let's twist again <laughs> this uh, yellow and black Swiss dot it um, <laughs> I love this I'm so excited again same thing it's a 50 foot 50 yard roll and man, I just can't I don't know yellow and black might be my new theme for this whole next year I might just have to do everything in yellow and black all right and uh, what did you do here okay tail up they, they moved on me Okay, so we're we finished with the tail up there, so we're going to go with the tail over here, and we're going to do this one at five inches. And it's pretty. Oh, just love these colors. Okay, we'll move that loop up that way, and this loop down here like this. really excited about finishing this wreath. I, I think I told you guys before that this one is not for sale. It's going on my front door because this is where my honey is. And um, But I do have enough supplies that I can make another one. Not with the... I have another sign that's uh, Be Kind. And um, Alright, so this one is a little different. We got our 8 inch tails. And we're going to... Um, just come out here and we're going to make about one one three and a half inch loop and then cut another tail. Both tails are going to be on one side. It's like a center loop. Okay. All right, we can pull this up a little bit. Got a twist um, zip tie here. I'll slip it underneath. Make sure it got all the ribbons. Everybody's in the party. And pull it, pull it a little bit so that when I raise it up, I don't lose them. And then you got a little indention. I don't know if you can see, but you'll have an indention right there. And uh, just slide your zip tie loop over into that, and then tighten it up some. Okay. At this point, I slide my pipe cleaner through. Eventually. Okay. And then I tighten it some more. Okay. Now. If you're of a mind like Damon, he says you can, at this point, you can just attach it to your wreath and use your wreath frame as a fluff box. And, um, you know what? You could do that. Let me show you a couple of things here. On this particular rib bow, you've got tails on both sides. So you're going to want to make sure that you take your fingers like this. Can you see what I'm doing here? And run them down those wires. Run them down those wires. Make those make those edges of your ribbons curl under. Okay. You can fluff some of it if you want to. Um, just make sure that you've got the right tie, one tie of each on each side right okay make sure you're pulling your ties down
you might have to twist them a little sometimes this thicker ribbon um, it, it gets oh it doesn't want to twist does one twist like it's supposed to but once you get it on your wreath you can get it all fluffed up and again we got to do some twist in here twist again like we did last summer <laughs> oh. looky here how's that looking Looking yummy like that. Yes, and yes, sir. We bob. Not the best bow baker in the class, but I'm getting there. But I can definitely see what he means by when you get once you get it attached onto the wreath that you'll be able to fluff better to know which direction you're going to go. Okay, um, we need to probably attach our sign. And so let me move a few things here out of the way. Go grab a couple of things. We're going to set our bow down right there. This particular sign came with a hanger on it, but um, I am not going to use that. I could I could have just taped it down and then hooked into there, but um, I'm going to use my little uh, cut little thing here and see if we can poke holes in this. Look at there. It did. Not too shabby, huh? All right. Okay, let's do another one over here. About the same place. I'm just so tickled. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, now see, that one kind of flaked a little bit, but it's okay. It is a okay. All right. I've got um. This is a 26, I almost stuck my hand in the glue box. 26 gauge wire. I'm going to pull some off. A um, couple of feet. So, have y'all been keeping yourselves busy? trying. My husband had went to the dentist today, which is really ironic because they're getting ready to close their office and um, only ha to have emergencies only. Totally understandable. I'm excited because my husband had uh, dental surgery a year ago and um, Got a couple of implants and everything, and a snap-on denture, and um, it hasn't worked. And we have been back and forth and back and forth weekly, seriously, weekly, for at least the last four months. It's been very frustrating. And uh, surprise, surprise, today they got it working. So, anyway. But we did that yesterday. We got out and did the whole grocery store thing. It's, it's all right. Just don't understand people, but you know, it is what it is. One of the things on my to-do list is to try to get my YouTube channel straightened out. And um, I'm trying, but I think I'm just making a bigger mess than anything. I 
I think that after this video, after this one, I don't think that I'm going to upload anymore unless it is a complete video from start to finish. And I feel like that um, I might lose you guys. You might end up thinking that I'm um, scatterbrained. I don't know where you get that idea. But um, I don't want to lose my audience. I want you guys to want to hang out with me. I want you to want to see what we're doing. You know, learn new things with me. And Lord knows you're learning with me, aren't you? Because I'm learning too. And But maybe if I figure out how to work faster and not talk so much, huh? <laughs> I don't think, I think, you know, I'm 63 years old. I don't, I don't think that's a lesson I'm going to learn. We were getting ready to go on a trip next week, and um, our travel plans have been delayed. And but that is a okay. That is a okay. I'm all right with that. It'll just make it that much more fun when we do get to go. All right. So we got the wire on our sign, and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and wire it on. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can move this stuff around. Maybe you can. Move this bow over here too. Let me go put these away. Uh oh. Uh, maybe not. I just had a thought. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to wire this on. I think I'm gonna I think I want it. Can you see that? No, you cannot. I think I want to put it um, on the side here, like this. Home is where your honey is. Kind of covering the middle a little bit, just because, um, just because. Not a reason, but. Okay, and you're gonna fish your wire down through your mesh. And um, I just so happen that I am by a crossbar. Okay, so there's one. And we'll go fish this one over here on this side. Anyway, the reason I wanted to hope get this finished, you guys, is because um, I still have a Valentine's wreath on my front door. <laughs> Yesterday was St. St. Patrick's Day. I did not make me a St. Patrick's Day wreath. I made my mama one. But, um, yeah. So this is my spring wreath. And I want to be able to enjoy it. Right, I was going. If I didn't hurry up and do this, who knows? It'd already be past Easter. <laughs> what are your favorite colors? What do you like? What colors do you like working with? Do you have a favorite? Would you do you prefer to just work with one particular, you know, certain colors? I, I have to say that I, I don't. Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite. I love red. Red's one of my favorite colors, but you know. I don't always like red on a wreath. Some wreaths, I I shouldn't say it that way. But anyway, um, but you know, certain colors come along and they're the trend. I think this year, what we heard was that the trend was going to be um, royal blue. Is that, isn't that right? A royal blue, a cobalt blue, something to that effect. 
and um, I did I will tell you that I did get I did get a lot of mesh and some blue ribbons so maybe we ought to try to come up with something that's blue I saw one today that a lady posted that um, I don't know where she got it but the signage and some of the ribbon kind of looked like um, what is that China called? Blue Dresden? Is that what it's called? Oh my gosh, it was so cute. It was so cute. Alright. We're just coming along here. Just coming along. Alright, one more. I'm, I'm not trying to pull it too tight. I don't want it to squash the mesh. So I'm not trying to pull it too tight, but at the same time, I definitely don't want it to come off. And um, I don't really think we have to worry about that. I think after this one too, I also think I might focus on some patriotic reads. I think this is a really good time for people to show their love of their country and their support. All right, looky there. How's that? How is that? Isn't that cute? How is where your honey is? Okay, so we got that there. And I think that we are going to maybe slap this bow like right here in this corner and who knows you know I got two bows so since I did have make two bows maybe put two bows on there what do you think we put one up here and the other one down there or is that two off center well, I don't know we'll play with it and see but I'm definitely gonna put this one up there so I'm gonna um, pull it really tight and cut that zip tie off of there You know, once you pull it real tight, then you can go in and you can use your thumb and <coughs> smooth out any of those pleats that you got in there. I love this. I just love this. This is so cute. Alright, so we're going to put this one right here. I'm take my pipe cleaner and again, feed it down here through the mesh. Can you see this one? Can you see? That isn't that cute. I don't know about that bow. I think it's hot enough. <laughs> Alright, Linda. So what do you think? Should we put the second bow on there too? You know, if I move that sign more... More catty corner, I could do them opposites. Let's see what that looks like. This has been the change of mind, Ruth, hasn't it? <laughs> but luckily, I didn't. I, I didn't attach them. Oof. I didn't attach the wires to anything just yet. I twisted them around the frame a little bit, but not. Um, not super secure so I'm okay with this alright so yes I think that if I pull it like that you 
you know what I'm gonna attach one and then we're gonna and then we're gonna put the bow on and then we're gonna then I'm gonna tell you whether whether that is what I want or not to tell you I'm really excited about these two bows so yeah I really do want to put both of them on there come on okay there we go Oh, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to be great. All right, so same thing. I did not, I had not cut the zip tie off of this one. So let's trim that baby off. Okay. And we're going to come in right about here. I think that'd be great. There are certainly some cute bumblebee, honeybee wreaths out there this year, aren't they? Super, super cute. Alright, you guys, look at there. Can you see now? Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think I like that with both bows and it'll be it'll hang kind of at an angle like that oh more like this yeah that's it that's the look i was going for more like that all right okay Yeah, there's some there's some yummy yummy colors out there this year. There's um, of course I always love um, peach 
and um, turquoise. I love those colors. Very soothing, very calming. And I love pink, pinks. All right, I moved that one up a little bit. So I think that's, since I wanted it to be at an angle, I felt like we need the bow to be there. So I said I want it to be on my door at an angle like that. All right, you guys. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna start working on putting these embellishment on here. And I've been hesitating because um, I think that this is full of glitter, but that's okay. Beehive Daisy. And there's three beehives on here. And I think it looks to me. Let's get this tag off of here. Yeah. That each one has its own. Um, section with these cute little flowers and um, little little bead like things sticking out Ooh. and they want to come out I don't want them to come out hmm. okay so how are we going to do this Just like that. Okay, and remember how on um, we we didn't tuck the our ties down, right? So we want them to we we left them up here. Now you can just tuck them in. You can leave them out. They don't look bad at all. And I'm probably going to leave them out except for the ones that I use. And what I'm gonna do there is make, um, make a little loop that, um, where is it, there it is. There's the other bow. Made a little loop down here and that is what I'm going to, how I'm going to slide this honeycomb beehive. I'm going to glue it and I'm going to slide it right in there. And it's going to be the cutest thing ever. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I got the glue pot on. Oh, Lordy, I hope I can do this. I think that I want 
want to do like, well, I might want to do another one on this side and then just one over here. Okay, so I'm going to make my, tuck my one tie in a little bit there. Okay, you guys, here we go. Okay, got our glue on here. We're going to tuck that right down in there. This one we'll just have it like down here. Okay, so we're going to cut this off. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, let me see how that looks. Oh, I think that's super cute. Can you see? No, you cannot. What is wrong with me? Let's see here. Let's see. How's that? Can you see that better? That cute, see that's cute little, that cute little beehives. Get your camera going on it. Oh. <laughs> Look, aren't they adorable? They are super, super cute. All right, so then the last thing we got is these these little metal beads that I cut off of another wreath, that other wreath that I bought. And um, I'm just gonna place some of them in here. And they had, they have this little metal piece on the back that they were, they were welded on, and I don't wanna do that. I think I'm going to stick one right here between these two, between these two honeycombs, but I'm, I'm going to try to cut this as off as close as I can. Is that right? And y'all, just because I'm kind of anal about worrying about hurting somebody getting hurt, I'm gonna put a little piece, of, little piece of. Where did it go? I'm gonna glue a little piece of felt over that. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, if anybody, if anybody was to get um, hurt, it'd be me. <laughs> okay, so you know how sometimes you cut stems off your flowers like this. Well, if you save them, then you can use them for instances like this. Since I didn't glue, plug in the glue gun, you just take a little glue, rub it on right there. Put that little piece of felt over it so it doesn't. See? 
Now, I won't hurt myself. At least not on these, right? Two of them. Might as well go ahead and cut both of them right now, right? Yeah. Oh, I am melting out here, folks. <sighs> lordy, lordy. You know what? I'm not gluing anything else tonight, so I'm turning that glue pot off. That whew, is hot, made it hot. Okay, I just think these little bees are super, super cute. Aren't they cute? We looked for bee embellishments and we just never could find them. And I'm I'm not very good at um where are you? <laughs> I'm not very patient. When I want something, I want it, and I want it now. And so I wanted the stuff for the bee wreath. And um, so I wasn't being very patient, needless to say. All right, so what I'm going to do now is um, use our little clippy. And I'm going to cut off a couple more pieces of this. Um, not a lot. And in fact, I probably... You know what? I'm not going to, um, yes I am. Never mind. Never mind. And just cut off about a foot, maybe not even that much, because what I'm going to do is attach them probably to the, twi to the, um, ribbon ties. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can do this. This is really cool because these these are like in three layers. Can you see that? There's the head, there's the wings, and there's the body. And I'm going to see, I was going to punch holes, but I wonder if I could just do it this way. I, I think I can. Slide that in there, and then we'll come over here, and we'll come to this, this tie here, this ribbon tie right there, I'm trying to see, that's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes it takes a while to get things to cooperate, but once you get your mouth right, yeah. Just got to get in here and get some leverage. And if, and I probably would plug in the glue gun and then um, maybe, you know, stick a drop of glue up underneath this little body here. So that, um, that so that he sticks on. Right. Oh, now that's pretty stinking cute. Click that. Got it. Got it. Can you see him? Can you see him right there? 
Doesn't that look cute? Love it. Love it, love it. And if I wanted, you know, I, I smashed down that uh, ribbon tie, but I could build it up so that he even stood up a little more. Yeah. Okay, we got two more to do and we're done. We'll be all done. Let's put another one over here on this side. Yeah, and I just took this wire and slid it up underneath his wings and um, I tied it around his little neck. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Oh well, okay. get a hold of that that this one. Let me see if I can come in that way. I think there was six little bees on that other wreath that I got that I cut those off of and oh I don't want that to come up like that. Alright Linda. Same thing. We're probably gonna um, Pull up the other side of this twist tie. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, all right, never mind. We can twist him around though, so that he's that direction, and we're all good to go. There we go. There's another one. Can you see that one? Look how cute those are. That's just so adorable. I love it. Well, I do want it to be closer to the sign though, so I'll have to work on that. All right, so where do we want this one? Do we want him down here at the bottom? Two bees at the bottom since we have two um, bee halves at the top. Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I moved my camera and stuff around so I don't know if I'm pleased with this setup or not. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, I, I think I need to find a twist tie to hook this one. I mean, yep, there's one right there. Alright. Oh, how cute. This is adorable. Alright, I'm going to see if I can prop this up so you guys can get a better look at all of it. How we're going to try to do it. What do you think, huh? How cute is that, huh? We've got two. Can you see both of those? I turned a little bit. See, you've got the two honeycombs. <sighs> beehives. Got the two beehives. This is so cute. That's really stinking cute there. And then we have um, the two in a bee, and we got two bees down here. And then we have another uh, beehive down here with some more flowers coming off. Oh, those are just going to look at that. I'm going to try to love it, love it, love it so excited hey you guys i wanted to tell you thank you so much for um, hanging out with me being patient with me uh, coming back seeing the end product I'm, i promise you we're going to get better at this again if this is your first time um to stop by reads by linda thank you 
I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and that you'll click that little bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new data. I am new content. Um, I will be uploading this one later tonight, so uh, be there first thing in the morning. Okay, you guys, thanks again. Have a good day, and God bless you all.